there's our second grade group. Reading Power came to Oakdale last year. Um, we had a meeting and discussed the importance of having our students meet with volunteers one-to-one -one and practice their phonics and get excited about reading. And Lisa was uh, very gracious to explain the program. And of course, I took her up on that and we have been happy ever since. Hi, I'm Mrs. Quinones Nelson, the principal here at Oakdale Elementary. Hi, I'm Lisa Bolzoni. I'm the CEO of Reading Power. We select students who are below the 25th percentile in literacy according to um, district as well as our own assessments. And we provide all of our programming to the schools we serve for free. So I am Julie Collishaw. I am the site coordinator for um, Reading Power at Oakdale. The students come to us four days a week. Monday through Thursday, but they do the same things each day that they come with the different tutors. Um, we come in and they, they're about 35 minutes long, the session, um, and they start with fast words. Super important, we start with the first hundred and then many of our students move on to the second hundred, but they're assigned a fast word every night for homework um, and we review it and practice it when they first come in. Um, and we keep track of the ones they're learning um, and we celebrate once they get to the first hundred, when they get to the second hundred. Um, the fast words are crucial to help them move forward in their reading. We have students that are in the red, in the yellow, in the green, a little in the blue. Our red is kind of heavy, so um, having Reading Power take a group of students for 35 minutes allows the teacher in the classroom to differentiate for those low and high students. Jalen, what did you read today? I read Danny and Chompy. What was it about? It's about Dan, the Danny and the Wong and Chompy. I'm going to tell you about Chompy. It's about Chompy wants to eat when he's hungry, so he gets tomatoes up over my head. When you was a puppy, you were so beautiful. What do you like about coming and doing this? I like reading and doing fun games. The easier students are the ones that really just need a little bit of a boost, someone to sit with them and help them um, decode words, um, have conversations about the, the books that they're reading. And obviously the, ch the children that are um, more verbal are also easier to work with. I think some of the children that um, are more of a challenge are the kids, first of all, that are um, lagging significantly behind their peers. Oftentimes I've, I have found in the children that I've tutored, they already feel, even at the first and second grade level, that they can't, they can't do it, they can't read. And so getting them over that hump and helping them know that they are actually learners. And even if they can't read a, a book now, that with practice and with help, they are gonna be able to accomplish that and to give them that sense, that, that oh, sense of growth mindset and learning and the can-do attitude. Uh, level zero in the hall, my friend.